Right, so in four pos, let's talk about warehousing. Warehousing is, um, as I said in one of the other videos, it's all about managing your stock in different areas. So let's just go and have a look at one of my products as an example. Um, and let's take, argument's sake, uh, Castle Can as an example again. Uh, if I go to my history, it will show me that currently I have zero units in stock. Um, therefore, um, and I've got two warehouse. I've got a default and a warehouse number three. You can then set up the system to say which point of sale machine must deduct from which warehouse. So if you have a pub environment or uh, a bar environment, you can go and set up and say that I've got uh, a warehouse that's called fridge one, which is typically the underbar fridges on uh, underneath the uh, tool point or underneath the pause machine. And you can call that fridge one or warehouse three or whatever the case may be. And then you can go and specify that this computer name, whatever in this case now my example is server, this one must deduct from warehouse number three stock. All right. Uh, so if I, whatever sales gets done through this warehouse, uh, must deduct from warehouse number three. So let's just do the example. I'm just going to do an update. I'm playing around with databases. I'm just doing an update just to ensure that the database is updated properly. All right, so if I go to my point of sale and I log in, and I'm going to sell my castle can now. All right, uh, let's just, uh, for sake of an argument, we're going to say I'm selling five of So I'm pressing the star button times five. Thank you very much, and I'm pressing F2. Uh, I have an option to prompt for the order number. Again, it doesn't really matter, so I'm just putting something in there. Do you receive No, thank you. Okay, done. All right, so what will happen now, that sale will obviously go through the domain controller. The domain controller will grab it and update it. The reason why my POS2 here is showing with a little star across is that although I've created the item or the POS machine, the physical POS machine is not connected right now. Therefore, it shows me, as you can see on the screen, active but not found. In other words, it's not there. It's not there with my configuration. It might not. It might be physically there, but the sharing on my hard drive is not correct, etc., etc. And that's why 4POS controller cannot communicate with that. Not going to go into detail of that. Okay, so let's go back to the back office now. Let's go and look at my my item again. It was Castle Can, and if I click on history, it says that you have uh, the stock that we have in warehouse number three is minus five. The units in stock that it's showing up here is in your default warehouse. So here it will show me that my warehouse three has got minus five. To take it one step further, um, I can go and say go to today load reports reporting analytical stock movement detail for instance on my castle can and I can say for warehouse number three and it will show me clearly that yes you started off with zero your opening stock is zero you sold five there's my invoice coming through and my closing stock is five or oh, sorry minus five so my stock again in uh, working perfectly the warehousing side of it working perfectly that in a nutshell is warehousing uh, the same applies to when you do stock takes and I do a stock take adjustment for local beers again. I think that was it will prompt me now and say which warehouse. So that's where the warehousing options come in. It also comes into GRVs. Uh, when I'm purchasing stock, it says, well, which way, where do you, where do you want to put the stock that you've just bought now? Uh, and so. All right. So let's uh, move on to another part of the warehousing. The. Uh, it will obviously happen from time to time that I'm purchasing all my stock into a specific warehouse, might be the back room or the back stock, and I want to now move the stock to another area or from the back stock to the front stock or from back stock to a fridge or something like that. So again, if I look at my castle here, uh, as you can see in my warehouse, number three has got 47 items in stock and my default warehouse has got zero. So let us do a transfer quickly. Let's take one case of beer from... Uh, the warehouse 3, which might be my back stock to my default warehouse where my sales will happen. And if I go out of there and I go to order processing, you'll see we've got a stock transfer wizard, warehouse to warehouse. Um, and I can then specify from which warehouse am I transferring. I'm transferring from warehouse number 3 and I'm transferring to my default warehouse. Thank you. And I'm adding the items. In other words, manually I'm going to specify that I want to move my stock uh, itself. Because my castle cams comes in a case of 24, 
I'm going to transfer one case, which is a total quantity of 24, as you can see. So as soon as I exit out of there, that is now uh, taken care of, and I can say transfer. It will give me a little transfer report, which I can print and skip on file somewhere to say this is what's happened to my stock. Um, I can go out of that, and it says the transfer process has taken place. So let's go and double check that. Uh, go back to stock create edit, a castle can. Again, if I look at my history now, it tells me that now I've got my default whereas, as you can see at the top 24, the same reflects down at the bottom there. And my whereas number three has dropped down from 47 to 23, which is perfect. Um, also applies obviously to my stock value, uh, sorry, my stock detail reports and so on. So again, just load reports quickly, reporting analytical stock movement detail report. Um, and again, you can do summary, but for again, we want to see the detail of it. I'm going to look at my default warehouse, and I can see I started off with zero. There was a transfer that happened, 24 in my bookkeepers will be happy because it all makes sense. Uh, so if I look at the same for my warehouse number three, um, I then started off with zero and I did a transfer um, uh, for sorry I did a transfer of 24 and then obviously my closing stock is 24 coming in there all right um, so it all makes sense that it's a nice clean paperwork nice clean paper trail you can actually track where the stock is coming from where did it go what it, the movements was on it um, and that's the whole purpose of stock and warehousing and so on keep it simple uh, keep it easy make it make, so that it makes sense for you at the end of the day enjoy